Recent advances in digital tabletop, touch, and gesture-activated screens have allowed for small group collaboration. These capabilities naturally lend themselves to disaster response, command, and control. This short video demonstrates two prototype urban search and rescue command and control interfaces using the Mitsubishi Diamond Touch screen. In a disaster relief effort, before and after comparisons of the affected area can be valuable to the command staff. This video shows a prototype interface that interactively reveals post-disaster aerial photography. As many as four users can simultaneously reveal, zoom, and annotate the map with additional information. In this case, the user shows the change in location of one of the large casino barges that detached from its hotel and was pushed inland by storm surge. When the user closes the window, the annotation remains on the pre-disaster map, providing a clear frame of reference. In many cases, entire structures may be missing or destroyed by wind or wave action. With this tool, these structures can be quickly eliminated from the search grid, thereby increasing the team's effectiveness. Partially damaged or standing structures can be good candidates for investigation by search teams. These structures can be quickly annotated as seen here for higher search priority. Conversely, completely destroyed structures can be given secondary search priority when it is clear that there is little chance for survivors. Finally, this annotated map can be made available to teams in digital or printed form. A natural extension to the 2D interface would be a 3D representation of the world similar to Google Earth or in this example NASA WorldWind. In this video, the operator is using an emulated mouse to drive the WorldWind interface. Hand-based selection of various maps allow the user to seamlessly switch between multiple layers. Rich gesture recognition allows the user to zoom, translate, and rotate the simulated globe. Additionally, recently received aerial photography from reconnaissance aircraft and unmanned air vehicles can be quickly registered to this global map. In this example, the Biloxi, Mississippi disaster photographs are overlaid for an interactive 3D view of the disaster site. This allows the command staff to fly virtually over the disaster area and note structures that may require higher priority in the search process. This 3D interactive view, combined with the before-mentioned 2D interactive damage assessment, should provide a powerful tool for command and control in future disasters.